Right, it's back. Um, I just want to look at um, tent insulation for under the tent rather than inside your bedroll. And it works a treat. I'm using it now. I'm going to use it from now on. And if you give it a go, you'll see. I won't tell you too much. Uh, I'll let you have a look at the setup. Now I want to put my arms down on the floor. There's no cold here at all. And actually, the more I leave the tent in the same place, the warmer it gets. Now, um, the foam itself, the foam pad, is um, it is less likely to hold water than an open cell foam pad. I've got a closed cell foam pad. So it doesn't absorb the water as much. I've got um, a natural ground sheet in, built into the tent, so that should keep it plenty of water tight. And the way I tucked the footprint over the top of the edges of the mat, there's plenty. There's plenty. It's all you need. Someone once asked me um, what the warmest tent I've had is. They're all the same. The uh, Ambient air on the inside of the tent <coughs> is equal to the temperature on the outside air. You need a good sleeping bag, good ground insulation, and um, a little tent heater. And the same goes for your hammock as well. It's an identical setup. I put the um, foam pads in my DD hammock as well. Exactly the same configuration. It's a good all-round uh, ground insulator. And as you can see, it's been raining. And uh, the whole tent has had a good water in. It's only a little shower. A few hours. Always a good idea to shake this water off. It's the only way it can get in the water is because it's on this door. Okay. Get the extra water off and let's have a look. Well, the bed space is nice and dry. Inside is nice. And let's see how it is for insulation. Oh, ho, ho. that is lovely. Look at that. God, that's warm. It's really warm. It, it must be. I wish I'd have had a thermometer to show you. I may put the temperatures on the caption inside and outside. I've got to find a thermometer first, so. So I'm just in here doing some field repairs. Um, it's a very old tent. It, it is fully waterproof. We had a right downpour a couple of days ago. Um, inside, bone dry. So I want to show you how I insulate the ground from uh, 
the loss of body heat and uh, and not a lot of people will do this but I'm going to show it here in a bit anyway I'll show you some of my running repairs over here you can see I've had to put a tent patch there on the inside if I haven't got my patch kit with me or it's an emergency repair a roll of duct tape like that is going to do the job for most tent repairs and I'll just show you on the floor there you go and I'm going to do the same underneath do both sides when you're doing your running repairs there's uh, one of the repairs this is just um, an intermediate repair so I'm sure you've seen them uh, closed cell foam pads I've got a couple of them and it's got a silver reflective on the back of that and uh, I put them two of under the tent itself now what a lot of people will do is um, they'll take a foam mat for insulation and I use them all the time but I don't always use them the way you may think I'll show you why as I'm lying here because I don't use a sleeping bag my arms are loose I like to sleep with my arms on the floor and my arms on on the bed roll. I've got a very narrow bed roll, so my arms are always on the floor when they get cold. So I've got to pick them up, leave them crossing, or sleep on my side like that. But now, because I've insulated under the tent with them foam mats, every square inch of the flooring is lovely and warm. The whole of the footprint of the tent, every single square inch is two, side by side, like that, underneath the tent, and it, like I said, it covers every square inch of the footprint of the tent. So, now, straight on top of the canvas of the floor of the tent, I can put my self-inflating air mattress, it's only about one centimetre thick, I think, or centimetre and a half. Um, sleeping bag liner, pop it in, lovely and warm, absolutely lovely and warm. Now this is my bed roll, this is a corner of it, this is um, a sleeping bag liner, and inside I always pop my DPM three quarter length inside, I tend not to sleep right on top of the air mat because I, I don't find them too warm unless your actual ground underneath your tent here is insulated properly. It's no good just having insulation in your bed roll. You need it with your tent floor as well and I'll come to that in a second why. And underneath my bed roll is a reflective I've just uh, topped this up with wax, so it should burn really well now. If you want to know how to make one of these, it's one on my channel. Now it's a good idea to contain all this inside one of your mess tins. Now it's not always a great idea to put a naked flame in your tent but with this it only burns a small height of flame and um, it's going to be monitored and supervised and I'm only going to have it on for 10 minutes and 10 minutes is all it needs to take your chill off your tent right down from negative celsius and uh, give it 10 minutes 
and it'll be like a sauna in here, like a sauna. Now another thing, now don't forget, you need to put that out after about 10 minutes, once your tent is lovely and warm like mine is now, because um, it, it, it'll be a health uh, issue to you, uh, and that's regarding your carbon monoxide, any flame like that left for a long time without ventilation will suck all the oxygen out of your tent and as you breathe it's being replaced with carbon monoxide it's very dangerous so just have 10 minutes with it just to take the chill off the air put it out if you want some light you can use um, just your regular lantern Ten minutes is up. It's smoky. I can honestly say it is lovely and toasty and warm in here right now. <coughs> oh, it's nice. Now the ground system I used underneath the tent is working fine. Every single square inch of the floor section is warm. Now I don't bother too much about foam mats um, getting ruined you know with little bits of stones and twigs and what have you because they're so cheap you can pick them up two for a tenner and, and the same goes for when I put them inside my hammock as well. It has an underlay in my hammock I use a DD and um, it has a separate layer underneath so I'm not lying directly on top of the foam itself and uh, it, you know it, this is why people prep to have the kit because and that's when I started prepping is when I needed it so um, have a route through the channel there's bound to be something on it you like uh, I've given you my take on ground insulation um, and until very soon I'll see you there take care <laughs>